Masood in Pakistan writes to me and wants to know why do preamplifiers have such high output? Some of them exceed out to 16 volts. Now, the problem is there's no power amplifier that'll ever take 16 volts. Most power amplifiers uh, click in, start clipping at about two volts, and some as low as a volt and a half. So why, he asks, do preamps put out so much voltage when it's not needed? Well, Masood, that's a really good question. And can we call it wretched excess? <laughs> I can tell you that our preamplifier, the BHK preamp, and for that matter, the uh, Stellar Gain Cell DAC, both put out probably 16 volts, something on that order. And we're very proud of that. And we advertise it. Is it useful? No. <laughs> As to your point, it means nothing. It means, but, it, it, but really there is more to it than that. I, I remember, gosh, had to be back to the early 70s when we first started making preamplifiers. We couldn't get out more than about six or seven volts RMS. And at the time, our big challenger was the Audio Research Vacuum Tube Preamplifier, the Audio Research SP3. And that thing, because it's a vacuum tube with very high voltage, could put out like 20 volts. Why did that matter? Because power amps haven't changed. Power amps still only took in, um, you know, a volt or two before they clipped. Well, linearity, okay? So the audio research was so much more effortless, is a good way to put it. It, it, it just seemed like it could go on forever. And that's because in any kind of amplifier, headroom, is really, really important. So if you want to put out two volts max, you'd like to be able to put out easily 20 volts, 10 times the amount that you actually need. Because if you do that, now you are working within the complete linear region of your amplifier. And as an amplifier gets up to 50%, 40%, some percentage of its maximum output, it starts becoming less linear. Now we can make up for that linearity with feedback, and we do, but we want to design a product that is linear within its open loop response. In other words, in the area where feedback is not needed, because when we do that, we get the best sound quality. So, we're very proud that we can put out 20 volts because that's about 10 times higher than what we need and that gives us better headroom, better linearity, and an effortless sound like we worked so hard to get years and years ago. I hope that answers your question. Thanks for asking. I'll talk to you all tomorrow.